Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Francisca Ui, the Compliance Corporate Affairs and Legal Director of Bank Sian Biniaga, hereinafter referred to as the company. We have just completed the annual general meeting of shareholders today, Monday, 10 of April 2023. Hence, we would like to share the summary of our annual GMS resolutions as follows. The first agenda, approve the annual report and ratify the consolidated financial statement of the company for the financial year ended on 31st of December 2022. The second agenda, approve the use of net income of the company for the year ended 2022 with the following details. First, distribution of cash dividend, maximum 60% of the net income of the company, which will be distributed on the 10th of May 2023. Second, to record the remaining 2022 net income after deduction with dividend payments as written earnings to finance the company's business activities. The third agenda, approve the appointment of Jimmy Pangestu and public accountant from Tanudireja, Wibisana, Ritis, and Rekan as a public accountant and public accounting firm who will audit the company's finances statement for the year ended 2023. Second, approve the proposed 2023 annual audit fee of the company. The fourth agenda, approve the appointment of Didi Shafruddin Yahya as President Commissioner of the company since the close of GMS. The fifth agenda, approve the appointment of Sri Vidowati as Independent Commissioner of the company since the close of GMS. The sixth agenda, approve the appointment of Prof. Dr. M. Kurais Sihab MA as Chairman of the company Sharia Supervisory Board since the close of GMS. The seventh agenda, Approve the appointment of Prof. Dr. Fatu Rahman Jamil, MA as a member of the company Sharia Supervisory Board since the close of GMS. The eighth agenda, approve the appointment of Dr. Yuli Sarja Maludin Sanrego, MEC, as member of the company Sharia Supervisory Board since the close of GMS. The ninth agenda, Approve the changes to composition of board commissioners by appointing Farina J. Sito Murang as independent commissioner of the company since the close of GMS and effective upon obtaining the OJICA approval. Therefore, the composition of the board of commissioners of the company is as follows. The 10th Agenda First, approve the salary or honorarium and other allowances for the Board of Commissioners and Sharia Supervisory Board of the company for the financial year 2023. All members of the Board of Commissioners, including Independent Commissioners and Sharia Supervisory Board, do not receive any tantium or bonus. Second, approve the tantium or bonus of the Board of Directors of the company for the financial year 2022. Third, approve to use a portion of the remaining company's treasury stock from the share-based loyalty program in the form of MISOP for the provision of variable remuneration to the members of the management who are classified as the company's major risk takers or MRT. Fourth, approve the delegation of authority to the Board of Commissioners of the company to determine the remuneration, holiday allowances, and other allowances for each member of the Board of Directors of the company for the financial year 2023, as well as determine the terms and conditions for granting variable remuneration to the members of management who are classified as the company's MRT. The 11th Agenda First, approve the resolution plan which has been submitted to LPS on the 28th of November 2022. Second, Approve the update of recovery plan which has been submitted to OJK on the 25th of November 2022. Third, approve the delegation of authority to the company's board of commissioners and directors to perform each and any action required in relation to the resolution plan and updated the recovery plan of the company with regard to the applicable regulation. The 12th agenda. In the meeting, it was also reported as follows. First, 
The 2023 Sustainable Finance Action Plan of the company, which has been submitted to OJK on the 25th of November 2022. Second, the changes in the company's audit committee members by appointing Grand MS Yusuf, Angelic Dewi Darianto, and Riyatu Mariatu Kipkia, respectively, as audit committee members of the company. As for Ronald Tea Kasim, no longer serves as a member of the company's audit committee, effective since being appointed as a member of the company's press oversight committee on the 20th of January 2023. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the resolution of the Bank Sian Biniaga's 2023 annual general meeting of the shareholders. Thank you and have a good day.